Hi everybody! Today's video is going to be a tag video and I know how much you guys love it when I do it every time I do a tag video so why not do a festive one which is going to be the sweater weather tag video which has been very popular around YouTube recently so since we are in December I thought why not put on my festive jump jumper which is this gorgeous the place stand up um, let's all Primark one that I think everyone's kind of got I think everyone's had everyone has to get one of these jumpers from Primark they're so cute it's so festive I think the snowman's really cute with the little nose and let's just get into the question for the sweater weather tag which I have ooh, skip, which I have on my phone so let's start off with the first one which is my favourite candle scent at the moment and with, I think I actually mentioned this in one of my previous videos and it is the Yankee Candle Christmas Cookie one and it just smells amazing it smells like Christmas cookies, baking, vanilla and it just makes me want to go and make some cookies right now okay next question is coffee, tea or hot chocolate? I think everyone's gonna laugh when I say neither one of them um, I don't drink any hot drinks I can't stand them and to this very day my mom still tries to encourage me to drink hot drinks when it's freezing cold and yet I still have ice cubes in the freezer I still drink everything from the fridge I just can't stand anything warm or fuzzy and icky and at this moment in time whenever it's like this kind of winter season I go for milkshakes so at the moment I have banana flavor and strawberry flavor so I never get high on caffeine if anyone's asking or anyone's wondering so that's, that's my life I don't drink any hot drinks okay number three what's your what's the best for memory you have actually I think it was last year when I first saw snow um, I actually came out three three times last year I came out three times to London ish last year I came one time in April um, which was my first time my second time in London I came with my best friend and then I came again in December which was um, last minute thing two days before we were flying out we just booked tickets and came up and it was the first time I saw snow it was um, so we were here twice we came in like we came for two weeks went home for, for went home for a week and came up again for two weeks and so this year I was here for about a month which was amazing and we got to see snow my sister was here as well so but she was up in Nottingham so it was really nice to be both away at the same time and experience the snow together and no words can describe how the Maldives Islands don't have snow but thankfully whenever you go away you actually get to see some snow and it's freezing cold and I actually like snow flights but I don't, I don't like it when people throw snow things at you, it's horrible but it's my favourite fall memory that I think I'm going to cherish because I always wanted to pee in snow, I've always wanted to make a snowman and the fact that I was here was for the snow last year was amazing and I really can't wait to be here again for the snowstorm Sorry, but I just can't wait, I'm just really looking forward to it again so everyone's saying that the snow is coming and it's coming our way and I'm just really looking forward to it so let's go on to the next question, yeah? okay, so the next question is which makeup trend do you prefer? dark lips or winged liner? <laughs> I'm gonna laugh at this question because I wear both. As you can see, I always wear winged liner and come fall, I go for dark lips, I go for the purples, I go for the reds, I go for the dark plums. I do everything. Um, if there's no liking, there's no preferring, I just like both. So that was an easy one. Okay, go on to the next one very quickly. Um, best fragrance for fall is... And that is Chloe. Okay, this is my little version of the Chloe perfume because I actually first got the actual Chloe perfume when was it? Um, I think it was 2011 and I remember when I went and purchased it she actually gave me a mini version for my handbag because I just got on with the um, 
person that worked there so so well that she even gave me a really small one, it was like a really festive one. And this worked out to be about 9 euros if you actually put that in respect of how much the 30 mils actually cost. It was about 53 euros, which I thought was a bit expensive, but I still got it and I, till this very day, I'd always say that was my staple fragrance and my signature fragrance and I'm dying to get it again. Next question is favourite Thanksgiving food. Favourite Thanksgiving food. Now we don't do, I think people do celebrate Thanksgiving in America. I think some people do here in the UK but obviously I don't. But I can say favourite Christmas food I guess. And um, back home my dad uh, always used to cook um, the small sausages with bacon around them, wrapped around them, I just love them. For some reason they used to call them devil something, I can't remember the name. But I love those to bit, I love anything with bacon and you can't go wrong with a just amazing mum's roast dinner with stuffing and Yorkshire puddings and roast potatoes the full lot with veg and everything just can't go wrong with those so I'm probably going to say that's my favourite um, Christmas food instead of Thanksgiving okay so next up is what is awesome weather like where you live well here in the UK what I'm actually witnessing right now is you get sun you get cold you get frosty kind of weather, it's very weird. People are saying to me, oh, you're gonna to go to rain, you're gonna to go to horrible weather, how can you live in the UK when you've obviously come from a really nice hot place? Well, seriously, not yet, obviously, yeah, I do come from a very hot place, but the shops are sorry. I have certain shops that I just love to shop at and we don't have them in Malta so thankfully obviously you come here and it's everything so easy to buy for I think Christmas presents was so easy and getting everything online was just the, my favorite task but anyways going moving forward obviously with the weather um, we do get rainy days we do get um, we do get cold days but on a whole, it can be really nice and sunny. I can be wearing my sunglasses, seriously. But you just have to get cozy, so you just have to wear a jacket, you just have to wear a scarf. But it's just really lovely because I think that's one of my favourite. I think it's really nice for autumn, awesome, and you see all the leaves falling down. So I don't think I can go wrong with that kind of weather. Okay, next one is most worn sweater, which I'm going to get right now. Okay, so my most worn sweater is from Primark and it was really really popular last year so it's a spikes cardigan with the spikes on the shoulder pads and I love it so much it just keeps me warm um, I don't know it's just one of my favorite cardigans it's just it's a long one you can go on jeans and everything and it really keeps you warm okay next question is must have nail polish this fall now, um, at the moment, I'm currently loving the Barry M Nail Paint in 273, which is the Raspberry. Now, for some reason, it looks red, but for some reason, on the lighting in the video, it's going to look like a reddish kind of color, but it's actually like a raspberry, pinky red, dark kind of color, and it's just amazing for Christmas. And I'm going to, I just don't have anything on my nails right now because I'm going to paint this after I do this video, so I'm really looking forward to. Painting my nails again in this gorgeous colour. Just get festive before Christmas, so getting into the December route, you know, you have to look good and you have to have your nails all pretty and red for the season. So, next one is num question number 10, which is football games or jumping in leaf piles. Now, I've been to football games and I even paid 60 euros to go and watch a football game. I had to and sorry I think they're really boring um, so I think I'm gonna have to go for jumping in leaf piles and feel like I'm a kid again I guess I think it'd be so much fun so that's that question number 11 is skinny jeans or leggings um leggings all the way so I have such a huge problem with jeans never find my size if there's a, a style I like, there's never any sizes, any small sizes, and it freaks me out, annoys me, 
and I think leggings go well with dresses you can wear like a really nice long jumper and everything looks nice so I'm gonna have to go for leggings for that one for sure next one is combat boots or Uggs and Uggs all the way I would normally wear combat boots I think I've actually tried wearing them. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But I do prefer Uggs because they're just so comfy, even if you have a lazy day and you want to just be up, want to be walking around long, I don't know, you can be walking miles and miles for miles and you're going shopping, you just want to feel comfortable, I just go for Uggs for sure. Next one is pumpkin spice worth the hype. I don't think I really want to have pumpkin spice smellies anywhere. Honestly, um, I prefer like a more of like a winter spice than a pumpkin spice. Um, we only think we only really use pumpkins in Halloween, do we? Um, so I don't think I really want to have my house smelling of pumpkin or like having a candle smelling of pumpkin. So I don't think I'd like that one. Um, so we're on our last, um, last two questions, and it is number fourteen. Is favorite fall TV show? No, I don't have a favorite. I have a watch. I do watch. A lot of different ones, so I can just gonna name a couple. Um, Revolution, I love the blackout and how it is with no electricity. I think it's an amazing concept. Um, number two has to be Vampire Diaries. I just love it, and I love how they did the sequel called The Originals, which is basically the original vampires with clouds and everything. I think that's just wicked. Um, another couple are Tomorrow People, which is a new one for this fall. And um, there is Arrow, which is obviously there's the two cousins in both of them. There's obviously Steve and Amel in Arrow and Robbie Amel in The Tomorrow People. I think they're both amazing. And I thought that guy looked familiar. I was like, okay, where do I know you? And of course then I found out they were cousins, so I thought that was amazing. That was wicked. So good on you. And I think the two shows are amazing. And obviously I can't say a favourite TV show without obviously mentioning Beauty and the Beast because I just love that concept and I love how there's beasts and how they grow and the love between Catherine and Vincent is just to die for. So next and obviously our final um, question is what song really gets you into the fall spirit? Well, um, that's hard. Um, fall spirit, so we're going to talk about the winter spirit, so what kind of song would you get into to tell you it's kind of winter? Um, there's so many different songs out there, there's so many different generals, generals and everything, um, yeah this is a, diff this is a diff difficult question, if it said what's your favourite Christmas song that would be easy, but since it's just a fall question, um, I think I'm just really into whatever's in the charts and disco -y kind of music and fun music and pop music. Um, I like all sorts of music. So that's that's what I can say about that. How I can vouch for that kind of question. I'm sorry, I'm very difficult. But thank you guys. That was my sweater wetter tag. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you like tags and want to see more tags in my on my channel. Um, do leave um, a res video response down below if you want to recreate this tag. I tag all of you guys watching. I want to see all your sweater weather tags. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hi! Came up with this baby. Now this is a really cute oil burner. That's an owl. In the shape of an owl. And obviously it lights up with all the whole 